Hi, I'm Asa Yaqub. I'm an actor from Glasgow and my parents came from Pakistan. For me, being Pakistani means living in a community that is hampered by outdated traditions and poverty. When I think of Pakistan, I think of rickshaws, camels and people balancing things on their head. Recently, some of my friends have started moving to Pakistan. They tell me it's a place where arts and culture are flourishing. A place where cool young people have big dreams and big passions. I've heard that Lahore and Karachi are cities where westernised urbanites can feel at home. This is not the Pakistan I've seen on the news or experienced in Glasgow. I'm going on a journey to discover this new Pakistan I'm hearing about. I want to find out if I could fit into a country whose culture, up until now, I've usually tried to get away from. Karachi seemed like the natural place to start my journey. With a population of 13 million, it's Pakistan's largest city and the epicentre of the country's emerging media class. It's modern, cosmopolitan and it's got a beach. My first mission was to make some friends. Luckily, there was a glamorous event being held at the hotel I was staying in. I used my brand new BBC credentials to get in. The only problem was, I didn't have a clue who anyone was. You must be famous. Are you guys famous? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> you famous? This was Pakistan, but not as I knew it. It looked glamorous, alluring and sophisticated. I was hooked already. So what's, what's happening here? Is this the biggest thing in, in Pakistan? This? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Is it? I'm supposed to say that. No, no, is it no, the no. biggest thing in Pakistan? Well, we actually, know. yes, it is. It is. is. It? It turned out I was at a press conference for the Lux Style Awards, Pakistan's version of the Oscars. I was mixing with the equivalent of Kate Moss, Bono and Giorgio Armani. I'm very proud to be Pakistani. But there's so much talent just starting here. You know, I, even I get very starstruck sometimes when I'm at the Lux Style Awards. Adnan, Adnan apparently has heard about me. Have you heard about me? I've heard about him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was in uh, Glasgow for a film festival and uh, yeah. people thought I was him. Bingo. Adnan was a model, stroke actor, stroke director, and was exactly the person I needed to gain entry to this glamorous world. Um, Ali Zafar, biggest yeah. pop sensation in Pakistan right okay. now. After a few hours of unashamed networking, I had a pocket full of contacts and an invite to a small after party. I was hanging with model Vanisa and designer Hassan Sheriar. Watching them do an impromptu photo shoot, I couldn't help comment on how modern they seemed for Pakistanis. Like when I go abroad and I tell people I'm a Muslim, they're like shocked. Still, yeah. they're like, wow, you're, you're Muslim, you're Pakistani, you yeah. can't get over it. And so when I count to three, we'll turn. Also at the party was British-born photographer Zubs. He came over for a wedding and was so amazed by the new Pakistan, he decided to stay. In a short space of time, he's established himself as a top photographer. People over here are so much more modernised than yeah. the Asians and the There's so much going on. Yeah. And um, they're really exposed to media, to MTV. It's like the MTV generation. Yeah. Also, if I make that in, um, more than ever before, because of the electronic media boom that we have in this country, what's happened is that for the first time, people in this country are more exposed than they ever have been before. They have access to the internet, they have access to countless television channels that they never had access to before. Are we, are we far behind in the UK or are we far behind in Pakistan? I think we're a little far behind in both places. Um, both places have their strong points and have their not so strong points. I do find the magazines in the, in the UK a bit... Yeah. They just they celebrate a certain element of Bollywood that they actually believe in. Yeah. Which uh, doesn't exist. And which doesn't even exist. Yeah. Why do you think people in the UK have that kind of perspective, especially Asians? Your parents or whoever you left 30, right 40 years ago, right uh, remember Pakistan as whatever it was, and they keep coming back to their own either villages yeah. or their little towns, not yeah. realizing. 